Hey, Charles. What up? What is the least spoken language in the world? What? Sign language. <laughs> it's they talking shit again. When I've been player on the day, I became a U.S. citizen. Hey, that crossed the line. I'm a tag of loss, but I'm finishing. <laughs> Killer, but thriller, just like Percy Miller. No limits then. I aim for the digits. 100% of people came to get it. Chill. Used to be bigger, but then became a midget. Taking out the game, living lame and living. So we got to hate on the next man. Because he don't got the money. We love him at the bottom. And now he's the ex-tech fan. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm waiting. It's not a mistake. You got to be hot at me. Sit and watch me expand. And good morning, everybody. This is Mike with Mornings with Mike. I am with Charles Motes, as always. Charles, how are you doing today, man? Another beautiful, sunny, not even looking around day. Can can we get a window in here? Like, I need a window so I can start seeing what there's, it's like. There's a little place. air vent up there where uh, Zozo decided to destroy my garage. Uh, or the, I should say, the RTF Production Studio. Beautiful place here. Uh, we will be live on camera, guys, here in the month of March. Uh, speaking of March, happy March. Happy, uh, quote-unquote, warm days are ahead of us now, I guess, maybe? Uh, I mean, yeah. no, we live in the Ohio Valley. Yeah, no. We get everything two months late. We'll get at least another four snowstorms and maybe an ice storm. And... I actually, funny that you bring that up, back in February, um, meteorologist, um, what's that guy from WLK that thinks he's better than, than, than everybody else? Mark something and other. You know who Luckerberg? I'm talking about? No. no. <laughs> that's the that. That's the Facebook cracker. Um, but this Mark, oh, what the fuck's his name? He's from WL, like LK. Uh, he does Facebook Live videos, and, and, and like, he's always like, be sure to send me some hearts my way. Send me some thumbs up my like my way. But we're going to get snow at the end of March. At the end of March, okay. And, uh, you know, I've lived in this world here for 31 years now. Actually, my birthday's coming up. I'm almost 32, man. Fuck <laughs> me. Uh, I, I remember when I was in sixth grade, it was spring break, middle of March. We had six and a half feet of snow in Kansas. It was the, like the wind was blowing snow so bad that there are 12 to 13 foot drifts. God. It was fucking amazing, man. But the bad side of, bad side about it is we, we, we would have not had school for like a week because like we were fucking snowed in, right? It was fucking spring, <laughs> spring break. break. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Couldn't get it when you needed it. <laughs> Motherfuckers. So, Charles... As always, man, no, God, no. I'm scrolling through the interwebs, looking for stories to cover, giving us a little laugh, and uh, I see this Chinese tourist is arrested with 300 zebra penises in his luggage. Uh, 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 n no, n no. <laughs> this, is, this is just the title, okay? So, I'm... I, 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 I'm gonna play for you this uh, this uh, video. It's it's kind of a, like a reaction v v v video, but we're, we're gonna play it and then we're gonna and then we're gonna react to the reaction video. Oh God! Is this a double reaction? Double reaction. Take double. Down. Du -du 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 in the airport in Kenya. A little Chinese boy got busted in the airport with not a gun, not a knife, not a bomb, not some anthrax, not a box cutter. He had 510 animal penis. 309 from a zebra, 14 from a lion, 27 from a giraffe, 46 baboon penis, 36 buffalo di Let's stop right there. What the fuck's a giraffe? I think he meant to say giraffe. Enunciation giraffe. Okay. If not... This dude was all over the place. He has a G Rab. I think that's something over there in like Iraq and Iran, like a G Rab. Like, dude, the Rab. I mean, I'm just saying, nothing against anybody. I mean, I'm one for all, but G Rab. So he has a couple Iraqi penises, like in his luggage as well, is what you're saying? He might have. <laughs> Carry on. And 21 dingalings from a pink flamingo. Do you keep them all separated and labeled, or do you just mix them all up like Chex Mix? How the hell you get your hands on a giraffe dick? Only person I know that probably can snatch a dick off a giraffe is Shaq. That sounds like some shit Shaq could do. Y'all just be in the African safari minding y'all damn business. All of a sudden he said, I bet y'all go over there and snatch a dick off of that giraffe. Go over that bullshit, Shaq. The TSA was mad at the dog because the dog sniffed the bags but didn't start barking. He didn't say nothing. I don't blame that goddamn dog. I guess that damn dog. Dog was thinking, hell, if he snatched a dick off a wild animal, what the hell you think he gonna do to me? I start snitching, he gonna start snatching. I ain't got time for that shit. I'm going to lunch in five minutes. Out of all them animals, I feel sorry for the lion the most. How the hell you supposed to be the king of the jungle and you out here roaring in soprano? Damn lion supposed to scare people with his roar. He just get, Hurrah! 
That's a lion. You ought to snatch the lion dick off. Now he running around the jungle sounding like this. <laughs> <laughs> now the whole pride of lions is embarrassed as hell. Is that Mufasa sounding like that? I take my hat off to whoever sat down and counted all them dicks in that airport. <laughs> I hope you washed your hands before you went to lunch. <laughs> that is a true statement there. Like, like they legitimately, because they're like, yeah, there's 12 of these penises. There's 300 zebra. So they literally had to count each. I mean, because I highly doubt he, like, 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 like he had them labeled one of 297 zebra printer dicks. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> it just can't work. It was 510 in total. I wouldn't have been able to get the five. One, two. <laughs> He's choking <laughs> on the penis. I right ain't now. counting <laughs> shit. Ain't a pair of gloves thick enough to make me grab one dick, not five. Let alone 510. Y'all better call Twine in here. Twine will do it. Twine, bring your ass in here and get all these dicks. I'm going to lunch. Well, sir, it's a good thing you like collecting penises because when they get ready to sit in your ass, it'll be penis as far as the eye can see. Have fun. So, guys, just to recap here, a Chinese tourist was arrested in Kenya, which is a, a, a country in Africa, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. with 510 animal penises in his luggage. Not one, not two, 510. Uh, ranging from zebras to giraffes, apparently. I, It's probably giraffes. Uh, to pink flamingos. Okay, I'm trying to figure that one out, though. Like, pink flamingo, like... like th that's a bird, like... That's small, like... Yeah, well... The real question is, how the fuck did he cut those things off? Like, we're, we're like, always, like, dead, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna go snatch that penis. Or did he, like, go and get, like, tranquilizers and chop them off, or... <laughs> he was castrating the jungle. <laughs> it's just like... I'm doing my part to world population. Hold on, I got it. He, he's friends with Bob Barker. He was going out there and he was doing what he always said. He got his pets spayed and neutered. <laughs> so he had, it just, I mean, like I, I, like, I mean, the question does come to mind here. He is Chinese. Are they eating these penises in like soup? <coughs> Are they using them as aphrodisiacs? Are they using them because they can't use their own penises and their wife's? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, you gotta think. A giraffe, really big. The penis, probably really big. Him, Asian, really small. Just what I've heard. Well, Asians and Chinese are not the same, but I, I get, I get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> Just saying. We, we do have some listeners over here in Singapore, so don't get offended. But you guys do have small penises, so usually stereotypes happen because it's true at some point. Don't be tweeting us no dick pics either. We don't need that. Well, I'll be down either. for some dick pics. You know, just <laughs> get a little action. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. But that is uh, at Charles Moats sad me too. Um, he would like uh, no dick six pics. inches or bigger, uh, no more than nine, because he likes. Swear to he God, does if get I get a message, <laughs> I'm forwarding it right to you. <laughs> and then, we're, and then we're going to share it on our Facebook page. Um, it's straight because usually. They're gonna be their dick, their dick pic, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, look over here at Tommy One Hundred Five out of New Orleans, something random, and his little baby. It's just, I mean, like when I first clicked on that, I was I, like, I was really hoping they would say the reasoning behind him getting all, oh, yeah. like all the nothing. Penises. So, I mean, Charles, we are smart guys here. Let's let's try to think logically. What could he be using the penises for? Nothing. There is no reason you need that many. Uh, okay, so say he only had five. Like, it, like, is it? Do you think they put him in like a fryer and and, and like you go to like the fair and they have like the like like the corn, penis like, on a like, stick? <laughs> yeah, like the corn on a stick because the penis on a penis on a stick gives a whole new meaning to foot long <laughs> corn dogs. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the only thing I can think of it is, it is some type of galaxy that they're doing because you know they are a foreign country to us mm -hmm. um i was watching man versus food and i think it was brazil they put rats on the stick mm -hmm. and like that's like their that's like their their ice cream or something mm -hmm. uh so he flew to africa to get all to get all, all these penises to fly back to china like how big a bag do you think he had to have <laughs> Huge. That thing had to be huge. Here, let's 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 do a a Google search. Uh, zebra penis. 
zebra penis. Well, I just found the article Sucks. here from some random news, worldwide so, news. Charles, zebras are about the size, size of horses, right? Mm -hmm. Their dicks are 14 inches in diameter. Damn! They are 8 to 12 foot long. So he had 300 of those. This can't be a normal bag, like, <laughs> like he should have like rented, a, rented, it, rented like a like a uh, a uh, a uh, ship and shipped those back home or something, right? It had to have been. <laughs> so you would think. Like... So uh, in the Google, I s searched zebra penis size, and the first I mean like it gives you the zebra pr penis size, like of course, but then it has a animal penis size chart. <laughs> that is the first <laughs> link. So they they, they have. The size of penises of all animals, a shrew, for example, is a fifth of an inch. Damn. Um, that's a very, very small penis. <clears throat> a gorilla is two inches. Okay, I got something to be proud of. So bigger uh, than a gorilla. What well, What's weird is didn't we like ever like evolve from gorillas? Okay, so as our as our backs went straight, our penises, our got, penises longer. got longer. Well, in most cases. Uh, Yours or mine, I doubt it, because we are white men. <laughs> Speaking for yourself. Speaking for a male. So a man's average penis is six inches. Bigger than the average. I'm I doubt okay. it. I doubt it. Uh, Charles has what you call a chode. It is wider than it is long. Hey, um, hey, hey. So I'm like Steve <laughs> Stifler. I have a 12-inch penis around. <laughs> a, a, a pig's average size penis is a foot and a half long. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so... A stallion's is a foot and a half long as well. Um, I find that to be very, very false because I've been around horses, and when their dicks come out, it's fucking like a fifth leg, man. Like they give the definition of a tripod. That thing like <laughs> thwacks on the ground. Like, so for of you though that don't know about my childhood, I was raised on a farm, and uh, we bred horses. And you know, sometimes you gotta stick that cock up in the horse, you know, because it. It's just so big and it flops around and shit. Well, we had this horse. His dick flopped out so hard one time. It's covered in fucking like dirt and sand and shit. I had to wipe it off. So <laughs> I'm fucking stroking his dick right to, to, to like wipe off all the dirt. He fucking comes <laughs> like oh, it was the grossest thing. Like it is like a fucking fire hose. They're like, <laughs> did he call you the next morning? <laughs> no fucking. I had to like I, I like I had the walk of shame and everything, man. Did you have to go to his house every Saturday and wait on him? Uh, if you guys missed that episode, <laughs> scroll, scroll, scroll back a little bit about aliases. Uh, <laughs> so, moving on to penis sizes, a rhino is two feet long, a bull is two and a half feet long. So here we go, a giraffe four feet long. So, uh, he he had what thirteen giraffe penises? Yeah. So thirteen times four. That's a lot of penis lengths in there. Lot. He had 300 two and a half foot zebra length uh, <sighs> penises. Uh, I mean, so come on, like what? The the bag size alone, like getting out of the car, he just has this huge bag. They should have been like, that guy's got penises. That guy, <laughs> that guy right there. I mean, just like, like common sense. I'm like, calm, common sense again. Like, what the? F like, hold on, hold on. But we don't know though. Were they dehydrated? So they shrink, you think, maybe? I mean, yeah, it's yeah, like, you know, true. you make beef jerky, it, it shrinks. Yeah. Maybe a penis and a dehydrator. Oh, here we go. Like, <laughs> it's actually out here. Fifth, fifth article down is this Kenya guy. I mean, when you look at this guy, he, he just looks like... An a, average girl. No, I, I wouldn't say average. Uh, I mean, ears that small, dude, you're up to something. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy looks like I don't know, like his his face and ears are not proportionate. So like the so like his ears are like the size of like I don't know a cell phone, and then his face is the size of like Boot. yeah, it's it's just really unproportionate whatsoever. This guy's thirty seven years old, arrested in Kenya airport while carrying two suitcases full. So they had to have been they had to have been dehydrated, dehydrated at or, that or, point. or something, yeah. Uh, few of the penis were so badly preserved that their nature was impossible to identify. How the fuck can you identify a penis? Like, 
I mean, if they're dehydrated, they had a female cop there, and that's a rhino penis. That's a this. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What it was? That movie, Forty Old Virgin. So I went down to uh, Tijuana, and th- th- there's a show called A Girl Fucking a Horse, and so we're like, like you had to fucking go, and I, we we kind of felt bad for the horse a little bit. <laughs> 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 he was really giving it to her. <laughs> so, oh here here it is. We know that local po- poachers provide the Chinese black market with with body parts from African wildlife. We hope this arrest could help dismantle the entire network. Uh, so apparently they're selling penises on the market for whatever reason. Uh, for a couple inch implant. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 so obviously the animals are dead when you cut off their penises. Because it's like like it says, there have been several dead animals found in the past years with decapitated penises. Um, it's, it's just, I, I'm just reading through this article, but it, it doesn't... Hold on, it explained it right there. Zebra penises, zebra penises, for example, are often dried, powdered, and dr- or dried, powdered, and drank to cure impotency and decrease the size of men's genital organ... Why would you want? Oh, increase, not decrease. Increase. Okay. Okay. So, so, uh, sta- we, 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 let's the next the 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 next podcast that that we do, let's do st- st- stereotypes because this confirms a stereotype that Chinese people have small <laughs> penises. They are they okay. they are taking zebras two and a half foot penises, putting it in their mouth. Grind and it up. <laughs> like it is like that cartoon. Like they're putting it in their mouth and it comes and out. So it's like, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Do, do they take it like a pre-workout? Like go straight with the powder? <laughs> yeah, just penis face straight to the dome. <laughs> so, guys, if you are insecure about your penis size, uh, go to go to a go to a local farm. A pig farm because you know pigs have two and a half foot penises. Um, uh, just because there are there, there are more uh, pigs out there, so you know if they sorry they're a foot and a half long. Um, so if you need to grow penis size, pig penis is the way to we go. can give me an I, I like bacon. I got an idea. After we're done recording today, I'm gonna run over to Adam and Eve or Cirilla's and look at the enlargement pill and see if it says in there animal penis. <laughs> Well, you let us know next show, Charles, if uh, if you are taking penis enlargement pills and how much you have grown. No, oh, I'm not taking them, but I'm going to go to the, one of the stores and find out. I might so, buy something nice while I'm there, but that's size of point. Apparently, if you eat penis, your penis grows. So does that mean gay guys have huge cocks? <laughs> <laughs> was that was that too far? I can't. Did I cross the line? I can't even <laughs> I, I take that as a yes. Uh, that the the line has been crossed, guys. Uh, so with that being said, I I, I I I apologize for all you small dick gay folk out there. Um, my stereotype was wrong. Uh, so I sincerely apologize. Uh, so if you want a bigger cock, eat some pig dick. Pig um, dick. Give you a big dick. Dry it out. Blend it up. Throw some milk in there. It goes down perfect. It's very good, I hear, spread out on your toast in the morning. It's like cinnamon sugar. What if this was... What if this was true and there was, like, a bunch of, like, two-and-a-half-foot cocks over there in China? (laughs) Like, they have to, like, roll them up, like... (laughs) Let me just roll this, put this away. (laughs) And uh, we're going to end that right there, guys. (laughs) God, yes. Oh, God. I don't want this to ever be over. I'm gonna have fucking zebra penis on my shirt now. <laughs> Scroll through Facebook. You looked up zebra penis. I guarantee you're gonna go to Facebook and be like, oh, you like zebra penis? Zebra penis. You look too good, Lars, man. Here's something for you. <laughs> Actually, guys, we're we're not going to end this quite yet. Since oh, we uh, since, since since we've been talking about animal dicks, I'm going to go to Instagram right now. They have some advertisements. I like just like all like on there, and, and I'm going to see if something come come comes up. Because for you guys that don't know, Google does listen to everything that you say. Um, your phones do and whatnot. 
okay, I already have an oil change uh, ad <laughs> on there. Um, for you guys that don't know what an oil change is, is they stick fake piss up into your pee hole, so you pee out clean piss instead of fake, or in, in, in like instead of uh, your 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 piss. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. There there is a YOLO ad. So I I guess you only live once by putting animal penises in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, man, I'm I, I I can't do it anymore. No more, guys. <laughs> guys, this is Morning with Mike's. We are we have podcasts every other day up here. Uh, so if you miss us on Wednesday, we'll we're there on Thursday. If we're not there on Thursday, we'll be there on Friday. We're here every day into your life. You hear my beautiful voice. You hear Charles's voice as well. So and. Uh, yeah. iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spreaker, Breaker, um, CastBox, TuneIn, uh, what other podcast forms are there? Uh, I don't know. We can find them and get on them. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, subscribe to that bitch. Like, subscribe with a couple friends. You, you know how it is. Bring your hot friends. No, I like ugly girls. We out. <laughs>